minor league teams have a couple of spots on the roster that are constantly in flux. For the Rail Yard Dogs, East Coast Hockey League call-ups often leave them shorthanded. Eric Johnson has more on the Dogs' local solutions. Between roster call-ups and injuries throughout the season, it can be a challenge for the Rail Yard Dogs to keep a complete roster, but they're relying on some local talent to help give them the breakaway opportunity they need for a push at the playoffs. Cameron Backer is a defenseman who signed a contract two weeks ago. The 25-year-old is a 2015 graduate of Liberty University, where he made an impact for the Flames as a second-team All-American his senior season. He netted 28 goals and had 57 assists in 139 games in his career, but he wasn't sold on the idea of playing after college. I thought that was uh, kind of it, it of the uh, hockey career, I guess. But uh, over the summer, working with a couple guys uh, who had played professional, they kind of talked me back into it to really give it a chance. But now he's looking forward to making the most of his first professional opportunity with the Dogs. Well, there's, there's always an opportunity. Uh, it just depends on how far you want to go for it. Uh, you know, Europe's always a good option. Uh, the professional leagues around here, I mean, they treat you really well. You just uh, you just got to get your opportunity and fly with it. After some shifting in the net at goalie, Roanoke found itself in need of a backup after adding Matt Zenzola. So they turned to Mark Shiflett. He's a hockey enthusiast who grew up here in the Star City playing youth and adult leagues. Shiflett said he's not exactly sure how his name came up, but he was happy when the call came. Happy to be a part of the team for what I am. You know, I support everything I can uh, as far as local hockey from the youth team all the way up here to the professional league. Uh, I just think it's wonderful that uh, they even reached out to me. Uh, I'm very thankful for it. With local flavor on the team comes added motivation. And Coach Dan Brindler says hopefully this will give the team the push they need to finish the season strong. A ton of call-ups going through our league, the East Coast level. So, um, and, and to have it uh, local guys, obviously, you hope that that sparks a little bit of the, um, the passion from the fans and, and, and community around us. The Dogs return home this weekend with games on both Friday and Saturday. They start at 7.05. In the Bergland Center, Eric Johnson, 10 Sports.